miles seems a ways to go Sometimes it seems way too slow to be yeah, sitting no. still Watching the world go by Shadows fall and the sun set falls I'm stuck inside these middle walls and I'm still Watching the world go by Find a road to ride Then I close my eyes To see what is left of me After you organization uh, started when we uh, had the privilege of meeting Dr. Boney Still, who had moved down from Tarpine. And uh, Dr. Still had started the program out in Bozeman, Montana, several years ago. We go through the military hospital programs, and uh, we've reached out to several other organizations that help us uh, find the vets that they feel need the programs the most. Had no idea I was going fishing to tell you the truth, no idea. And then when I went to Greg Amir's house, I found out that it was a, it was a fishing trip and I love to fish, so I was, I was very pleased to, to go fishing, obviously. I think that when you have a fish on, it, nothing else exists in the world except that moment and that's, it's very, uh, it's very gratifying and healing to be in that moment. And what's great about here is you catch so many fish that you get to be in that moment a lot. And a lot of these guys that have been in the hospital or having surgeries or can't walk or in pain all the time. I mean, being able to go to an event like this where they're in that moment so often for an entire week. I mean, that, there's a lot of healing properties in that. Watching the world go back. I think we, we see... Um, a total relaxation of the of the soldiers and sailors um, at the end of the week. There's there's such a difference from the first day that we meet them to the last day that we when we say goodbye to them and take them back or or watch them depart. They um, they open up. They relax. We've we've seen. Um, to almost total changes in some of the some of the soldiers. Experience has been really good. I mean, it's it's a break from reality, from the mundane, everyday wheelchair thing. The way I see it, this organization is in the life-saving business. No matter where we are in our injury or state of mind, this is exactly what we need. I think it, it definitely fueled me, give me a better positive outlook. This is the first time I've done some, some fishing, some real fishing, and half the time I was just watching, just looking at that tranquility of the water. I think this is my sixth group of soldiers, but I will say that every time they get off the boat, we spend so much time together in just the communication and interaction at the end. This is something that we'll carry on the rest of our lives, is the friendship we've created. Well, first of all, the hospitality, to coin a phrase from Brooklyn, off the chain. I mean, uh, I was prepared to drive here from Tampa, four-hour drive, and uh, Anthony would not allow it. He wound up coming all the way down there to pick me up. I can't explain it other than uh, this place, this place has been, uh, they've, they've taken care of me and everybody here, all, all of us very well from the food to all all of our needs to the boat captains on the fish every single day absolutely uh, uh, really well taken care of uh, having the townspeople just all over the streets waving the flags as we came in and then checking in I mean from everything from little goodie bags showing the community involvement of a little freebie from this store and a hat and a shirt. It shows that not just one or 10 people are welcoming you here, 
it's just about everybody in the town and every business in the town. I love, uh, I love the fact that it's uh, no stress. Absolute no stress. If I, I absolutely feel like I'm completely away from everything. I can't.